Is that my little squirrel I hear scurrying about? Do I hear my little birdie chirping? My bunny rabbit? My mousie? My furry caterpillar? My squishy little hedgehog? Look at all the packages you bought! My little piggy doesn't know the value of money! Shame, shame. And are you sneaking sweets again, Nora? No, Garble! But with your new position, we'll be rich! Won't that be wonderful? All our troubles will be over! You're just like your father. Well, at least this Christmas will be better than the last. Do you remember? You spent three weeks making ornaments locked away in your room. I was so bored and nothing to show for it. It's not my fault the cat got in and destroyed everything. Oh, you silly feather brain. Ding dong. Well, I better see who that is. Wait, we don't even have a cat. Tell whoever it is I'm in my office doing important bank business. Good morning, haggard looking woman. Nora, it's me, Christine. Good lord, Christine. Did you get kicked in the face by a horse? No, but I've had a hard life since we've been girls together. Oh, that's right. Your father died. Yes. I left you no money. Yes. And your husband died. Yes. And left you no money. Yes. And your mother died. Yes. And left you with two younger brothers to take care of. Yes. And now you're childless and all alone. Yes. I meant to call. I was hoping to see your husband. He already has a wife and children. No, for a job. My husband is going to be the manager of the bank. I know. We are going to have loads of money. How lucky for you. We spent a whole year in Italy. That must have been expensive. Well, we had to for Harville's health. Where did you get the money? From your father? I borrowed it. But Nora, you're a woman in a patriarchal society. The doctors told me it was a matter of life or death. Ding dong. Craps, Dad. What are you doing here? It's not my time of the month. It's Krogstad, and I'm here to see your husband. He's not to be disturbed, so scram. Brrr. What's all that noise? Is my little hedgehog up to more naughtiest? Torvald, this is my dear friend, Christine Lind. Nora, are you eating sweets? Christine brought them. Wait, what? With the who? Christine? Christine is hoping for a position in her bank. Oh, fortunate. One just opened up. Well, I'm off. Me too. Thank you both. Miss Homer, I must have a word. Frogstad. Frogstad. Now, tell your husband he better not mess with my job at the bank. Or what? We'll soon have all the money we need to pay you back. But you're forgetting about the promissory note that your father signed. So? You forged his name. What proof do you have? All the eyes were dotted with little hearts. My father was a very sensitive man. Even three days after his death? Uh, macaroon? My children can't live on macaroons. Crunchoos, get out of this house right now. And you tell your husband they don't serve macaroons in jail. Brrr. Where is my little... Weasel. Here she is. Has someone, has someone been here? No. That's funny. I thought I saw Krogstad leaving as I arrived. Oh, yes. A Mr. Crickneck was here. And he wanted you to ask me not to fire him? Yes, please don't. I have no choice. Krogstad is a bad man. What did he do? He lied. Oh, well, maybe that's not... And he's a forger. Ooh, that sounds bad. Is that bad? Nothing worse than stealing someone's identity. And to think... He has children to raise. Can you imagine him breathing his lie germs right into their innocent faces? At least he's not their mother. That would have made things much worse. Oh well, back to work. Mother, come play with us. No, no, children, stay away.